All right, so it has been 35 minutes. We are going to take our French toast out of the oven. We're gonna uncover it. Do this carefully. And what I suggest doing is using a pair of kitchen tongs. Start at the corner. I got you lifted up, there's going to be a lot of steam in here. I wish you guys could smell this. This smells so good. I wish I could eat it. <laughs> I'm kind of sad that I'm allergic to blackberries. I'm going to flip this over and show you how great this looks. That looks amazing. Now we're going to make the crumble topping to go on top. Oh, what? You thought we were done? Oh, no. We're not done. All right. Crumble topping for our French toast. We are going to use half cup of brown sugar, which is basically all that I have left in that bag. We are going to measure out half of a cup of flour. Use your hands for this, it's just easier, faster. Mm -hmm. Mix those together. Pinch of salt. And a tablespoon of cinnamon. Can you hear Monsters, Inc. in the background? <laughs> this is going to be so delicious, you guys. And now we are going to cut in, meaning we're going to put cold butter in cubes. And we're going to squish it into this until it becomes a nice crumble mixture. We're going to use half of a stick of cold butter. I'm using unsalted butter because I already put salt in this mixture um, and there's already some in our French toast bake. So in order to cube this, I have the whole stick of butter here and I'm going to make three cuts lengthwise. Now I'm going to flip it over. See, I've done three cuts. Now I'm going to flip it. I'm gonna do one cut down the middle of that. And now we're gonna cut it like this. And look what we made. Perfect little cubes. Okay, we're gonna do that. I'm gonna add those into our cinnamon, sugar, and flour mixture. Like I said, we're gonna use half of the stick of butter. And don't worry, like, oh my god, I already cubed up the whole stick of butter. Yeah, I know we did, because guess what? We're going to use it for another recipe. And guess what? Now, you can put it in a little Ziploc baggie in the freezer, and you've already got pre-cubed butter. How easy is that? Again, it's going to be easier to just use your hands for this. And go in and just combine that. And basically what you're doing is you're grabbing those butter cubes and you're squeezing them and letting that mixture of the flour and the cinnamon and the sugar make a crumble. And then we're going to put that crumble on top of our French toast bake. Because remember, we only baked it for about 35 minutes, fully covered. But now we're going to put this crumble on it and we're going to bake it in the oven for another 20 minutes uncovered. So you know that your crumble is ready when you're able to pick up some of it and squish it and it holds its shape. But then as soon as you start to do this, it crumbles back up. Then you know it's ready. All right, now we are going to add our crumble mixture on top. Perfect. 
perfect. Now we put it back in our 350 degree oven for another 30 minutes, maybe 25. Look at our French toast bake. Oh my goodness, you guys. Look at that. That's gonna be delicious tomorrow.